Alrighty, welcome to Xavier's School of Asymmetric Spaceship Design. Today we're going to be looking at how to automate your spaceships in the Space Exploration mod for Factorio. So in your spaceships, you're going to have three different cases that you need to automate. The first is launching off the home planet, the second is launching back from the destination, and then the third is anchoring logic, which can be separate in both cases, but we're going to combine them into one for simplicity. Of course, there are many ways to set up your spaceships. This is just one way that I think is quite neat. Our launch criteria. We're going to start by verifying that we are on our home planet, in this example, Navius. Our cargo is empty and that we have enough fuel for our trip. So we need all three of those things to be true before we launch. To launch, we need to send three signals. We need to send our destination, in this example, Agni, a signal to launch, and then set the target speed of the spaceship to engage the engines. Similarly on the destination, we need to verify that we are on Agni, that our cargo is full, and that we have enough fuel for the return trip. This fuel is optional, particularly if you can't refuel the destination, but I like it to just protect against accidentally stranding a spaceship. Like our launch home scenario, we need to set the destination to Navius, our launch to one, our speed to 100. For anchoring, this is the simple one. The spaceship console will give us a negative one signal on the speed signal whenever it arrives. So we can then just output the source and destination anchors. If you use the same source and destination anchor numbers at both places, then it just simplifies your logic. To do this, we're going to need to use two combinator techniques. The first is multiple conditions and the second is signal expansion. Multiple conditions are how we make the left side of this equation work out. So each of these conditions is going to need its own decider combinator. If the condition is true, it needs to output one yellow signal. Then we use a, another decider combinator to output a green signal if all three yellow signals are output. So any one yellow signal isn't going to be enough. We need all three and that gives us a single green. You can use this for as many conditions as you like, which makes it quite expandable and also quite easy to debug. Now that we have that one green signal when we want to launch, we need to use signal expansion to create the three different launch signals that we need. So to do this, we're going to set up each signal that we want to send in a constant combinator. Then we're going to use an arithmetic combinator to multiply each input signal by green and then output each one. So in the case where we're not outputting a green signal, this is a multiplication by zero, the combinator won't output anything. When green is one, it'll output exactly what the constant combinator is saying. So this is a neat way of doing this rather than having to have multiple combinators. So now that we have those two techniques, let's jump into the game and see what it looks like. So here's our spaceship and here's our combinators. At the top here, we have our initial one. So these first three, are uh, this one here verifies that our cargo is empty. This one verifies that we're on Navius, outputting a yellow signal. And this one verifies that we have enough fuel. You can see the wires here, that they're wired both to the cargo boxes, to the fuel tanks, and also to the output of the spaceship console. Now, none of those are currently true, so none of them are outputting yellow. Uh, here's our decider combinator to see, to output green if they were. And then that goes, the output of that is wired to the constant combinator and our arithmetic combinator, which does that multiplication. This is our constant combinator showing the destination, launch and speed signals. Our second set of launch criteria are down the bottom here. The first one checks that we have cargo and you can see that we only have 3.1K cargo at the moment, so not enough. This one checks that we are on Agni, and this is true. You can see it's outputting yellow on the right there. And this one here verifies we have enough fuel, and again, outputting yellow. So our inputs, we have two yellow signals, but that's not three. That's not enough to get to our output. If it was, the this output, again, connected to the constant combinator through the arithmetic to multiply it out, connected to the input of the spaceship console. Our anchoring criteria, much, much simpler. We have just the single condition here that our distance signal is negative one. And the uh, decider combinator here is actually redundant because we only have this uh, one input. So we don't really need this complexity, but I like keeping them the same in different designs. It means you can debug them the same way and you can expand it if needed. 
And again, constant combinator for our anchor targets and our arithmetic combinator to see it all work. To see this work, let's reduce our cargo requirement to 4300 and oh, we just launched. So that's our ladybird in space. You can see we've got about two and a half minutes to destination. We've successfully launched. I'll fast forward so we can see it land. All right, we're coming up on a landing now. The distance marker is about to hit negative one. When we get there, there it goes. Sent our anchor signals. We're now landed on the planet and unloading the cargo. Once all that cargo unloads, we'll see it launch it again. So that's a basic technique for automating your spaceships in space exploration. Obviously you can expand this to do much more complicated things. If you have another approach or you make something cool, let us know in the comments.